So, I have this jacket. Um, it's a badass jean jacket if you ask me. And I bought it traveling, I bought it in Alaska a few years back. I love it. I love it to death. But at this point, it's getting a little old, it's getting a little dusty, and um, it's getting a little stained from life. And uh, washing and getting cut in it no more. So I decided to start bedazzling it. And uh, I've been bedazzling it for about a year now. There's like a few little bead, um, bead, a little bead um, embroideries on it. So I figured I'd bring you along on the journey because I don't know how many of you would do bead embroidery on jackets, but who does tutorials anyway? Like who follows them? Nobody follows them. So I figured I'll just show you. And I know my channel's all over the place. So it was like all sorts of stuff, but it happens. <laughs> So, and um, I'm thinking, so first two ideas were to make like a lot of danglies, a lot of dangled like strands of beads on my shoulders, but then I thought it was gonna be like a bad idea because it would get snagged really easy. And then the second idea, I thought it was the greatest idea of all time. So I was thinking about embroidering the underside of my collar. So. If I decide to pop a collar like people do nowadays, um, if I decided to pop the collar, it would be like really cool and like intricate down there. But then I popped the collar, I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, mm-mm. I was like, I am wearing this jacket like that. I was like, it looks like I have no neck because my neck is really short. So um, I decided to scrap that. So I'm thinking about adding like um i think i'm gonna focus on one shoulder today and i think i'm gonna do like little like crystals kind of like quartz crystals like on the shoulder right here and we'll see how that works out and then if i feel like it maybe i'll do some more but beading is very long very tedious so i'm thinking maybe like i'll just do little pieces here and there and i'm thinking about maybe making this a like monthly series like I make one video a month about it and um, we'll see where we at in like a year or so maybe it'll be like 50 pounds and really heavy because of all the beads but we'll see and I know I'm really bad at like making continuous series because there have been <laughs> there have been attempts in me but I just like I'm just way too all, all over the place for that so um yeah we'll see how that works out <laughs> no promises just ideas so um, yeah, let's start and uh, we'll see how that works out. So first of all, let's figure out what colors I'm gonna use. And I'm thinking about using like purpley colors, so it kind of looks like amethysts maybe. And um, I have a couple options. I have very little like of this really pretty one left, so maybe. Then I have this kind of pretty one and these are like most of them are pretty old because um i snagged them at the yard sale for like five dollars for all of them and um they're very nice but if you can see on some of the tags it says 1996 and i was born 1994 so um <laughs> it's um that's some old beads so first of all you want to sketch out your desired design in uh you could sketch it out on paper first but i kind of want to wing it i always wing it because i'm not very organized so um let's just try this to raise it a little bit and um yeah let's just sketch out little crystals i guess So yeah, here my design on the embroidery hoop, and then you gotta go start from here. Pull the thread through. I hope you can see it. I probably can't see this thread even. Let me lower it a little bit. Look at me trying to try my best to show you this fucking thread. So hope beads get to 
on your needle and poke through about two beads length pull through then you gotta come back but you gotta come back in between these beads and pull it through the second one So now both of the beads are looped through the um, through the fabric. Now take two more, go through, come in between, and go through the second one. So this way you don't have any big loops or any dinglies. Like you could go probably like two or four, but um, no more than that because this is very secure to the fabric. So and then you repeat it approximately a million times and that's gonna be your embroidery. So yeah, let's speed it up a little. So I got done with the outline and uh, now I'm just trying to figure out whether I should do this little lines in black as well or sh if I should rely on just different directions of the stitch on the inside to differentiate between the different planes of the crystal. I guess I'm gonna try um, no outline on the small one and see if that looks good. If it does, I'll just go with no outline and all throughout. Here's the update so far, and um, it's been a while. <laughs> and this is the update for today, and I think I'm gonna wrap it up for now. I'm gonna finish it tomorrow. It's been a while, <laughs> and uh, Frankie, I'm a little tired from it, so I'm gonna finish it tomorrow. Did I bring you to the bathroom? Yes, because the lightning here is a little better. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm kind of loving it. I kind of think it's everything. And um, it took a long time. And I honestly <laughs> would not recommend to anybody. I'm thinking, I was thinking about how I would title this video and I was thinking um, like the slowest close upcycle <laughs> or like something like that because it took me like seven eight hours of non-stop like going at it because i started i started around 1 p.m and it's now like 9 30 p.m so it's it's very slow process and uh, i'm a little i'm a little loopy because it's just been exhausting <laughs> But yeah, it's um, but I kind of love it. I kind of think it's everything. I think it looks cool. And I want to kind of, I'm thinking about doing like the kind of like black colored crystals on the other side or something. So, but yeah, um, subscribe, follow me on Instagram for like art, art stuff. <laughs> and um, I'll see you next week, I guess with another video like I don't know what's gonna be you don't know what's gonna be but it's probably gonna be art and crafts related so yeah if you like that kind of shit 
subscribe <laughs> and see you next time bye